good afternoon. I hope y'all had a good Thanksgiving yesterday. We had a good one, although my husband was sick. I was sick last week, so we stayed home. We didn't want to take a chance on getting anybody else sick. But we got brought plates. Oh, and they were good. Mm-mm. Gotta love turkey. Gotta love dressing. All this good stuff that goes with it. Now, everybody shifts from Thanksgiving to Christmas. Seems like overnight. Well, I know a lot of people that's already had their tree up for a week or two. <laughs> that's okay. That's what you like to do. Our tradition when we were younger was after Thanksgiving, we'd go home from Papa's or Granny's or Grandma's and we'd go pick us out a Christmas tree. They'd go to the neighbor's farm or out in the woods somewhere and we'd pick a real tree. And when we picked one, it was a cedar tree. It wasn't a fir tree or a pine tree. It was a cedar tree. Cedar always reminds me of Christmas. One thing I always like to do, if you can see what I'm doing, is I'm stringing popcorn. I don't know if you've ever strung popcorn. See my string of popcorn? I like the way it looks on the Christmas tree. So once I put up my Christmas tree, get all the lights on it, then I get me, I've been to the store and I find the biggest kernel of corn I can find. And I put it in my air popper. And I pop me up a huge bowl. And then I go to stringing popcorn. Just a needle and thread. And I go to stringing it. The white always stands out so pretty against the green. Cheap way to make pretty decoration. I wonder if you have any traditions you do for your Christmas tree or that your family does. I don't have a real tree anymore. I, we have a fake one. But it's still pretty with the popcorn on it. And I put some red beads on there and my popcorn and then then I let the family come over and all the grandkids and my kids and they decorate the tree for me. We always have a good time. I hope you'll have a good Christmas this year and a good time with your family. Make some great memories. One other thing I like to do every year is I get my grandkids and we have a cooking day. We cook, we bake cookies and make rock candy. What else do we make? We make uh, Chex Mix and dip pretzels and then I fill up bags and we take them to all the neighbors. When I was little, we lived in town. And mom would make up, we'd make up things. And mom always would make a big, big thing of fruit salad. And she would take, <clears throat> she'd have us kids visit all our neighbors up and down the street, especially the older people. And... We'd take them a big thing of fruit salad. Yeah. So when we moved out here, 
in the country. I started taking my neighbor's bags of goodies. And one time I had some older neighbors. And they were diabetic. So instead of instead of taking them fruit, fruit well, I never did fruit salad, but instead of taking them sweets and stuff, I cooked them a big pot of beans and cornbread. But they're long gone. Now I have new neighbors. And they get breads and jellies and jams and whatever me and the grandkids cook up. And then they deliver them. The grandkids all deliver them in little bags. And it's been a fun tradition. Although one year, everybody was sick. Nobody got any goodies that year. <laughs> but that is okay. My string's about full. I usually do mine in five or six feet sections and I'll leave a string on both ends. And then when I take it over to the tree, I tie it to the one before that, make me around and then come back, cut me off another string, do it again until I get all the way around the bottom. Some of these little popcorn pieces fall apart. Some don't. But you just go through the big fat pieces. So I'll get the biggest, fattest popcorn kernels I can get. It's not the kind I eat. <laughs> I eat the little bitty stuff, the lady finger. But this is the big, big stuff. I don't like getting husks in my teeth off of the big popcorn, so I always eat the Amish ladyfinger popcorn. But this popcorn, I save just for doing stringing popcorn. Anyway, I just thought I'd do something different today. Since I'm not in the kitchen, but I'm still working with food. But I hope and pray that y'all will have a good holiday season and enjoy your family. God bless.